for the 10th National Green Power Final. Green Power is all about engineering, education and the environment and getting school teams involved in motorsport. There are two races going on here at Goodwood today. One in the morning, a one and a half hour sprint race where the racers have to do as many laps as they possibly can on one set of batteries. In the afternoon there's a four hour endurance race where the racers are given two set of batteries and they've got to complete as many laps as they can. Um, F34 is an electric car racing um, for schools all around the country. We work through lunch times, after school, weekends, holidays. This introduces um, school pupils into engineering is the main point. Um, you don't get that in everyday D&T lessons. Also introducing you to the you know, environmental issues of electric cars is you know, it's the future. So we're breeding new engineers through Green Power. We came from Ripon, which is um, all the way from North Yorkshire. The electric chair, which is that, which is that one, was made entirely of um, recycled old school chairs, and it cost us about a hundred pounds to make. Yeah, well, we have quite a unique trolley system where we have a capture on each battery, so to make the battery change as efficient and quick as possible. Um, so hopefully that gives us an advantage over the other teams in the pit stop. I just think it's a great initiative. I think uh, school kids doing something yeah, that's really practical, that helps their studies, and at the same time, fun and learning a bit about motor racing. I think the whole thing coming together, and if you're only going to look at the enthusiasm, the crowds here to see how it's captured people's imagination, I think it's a brilliant initiative. The um, uniqueness of this car is that it's really streamlined and it's a gearbox car. And we saw some Formula One cars. So, and we base the aerodynamics on that. We're Sweetie Chariot and we're from Skipton Girls High School in North Yorkshire. We really like Green Power because um, we're an all-girls team which is like amazing because we get to beat all the boys. We've got the pit, pit stop down to 30 seconds now and this morning we were 45 so we're definitely going to work with this team. We like beating the boys. been at Goodwood for 10 years now which is fantastic and we're very interested in the whole the whole green thing and we're very very keen to support the schools and um, Goodwood has a tradition with this whole whole event so we're very very happy for it to, to carry on here and support it in every way we can. We're on the grid and the cars are lining up for the beginning of the Formula 24 four hour endurance race. In this race there's a maximum of six drivers and they're only allowed to change the batteries once within the four hours. It was all started off as I'm a passionate believer in engineering as a career for people and kids and everybody. And I noticed that we had less and less in the country from talking to engineering companies. And this was my attempt to do something about it, really. And how do you think the children benefit from taking part in a scheme like this? By seeing engineering at a young age, before you've got preconceived notions, you can make your own mind up. And because engineering doesn't have a very good press in the sense of you know, what's on television, you don't actually see it apart from Scrap Heap Challenge, I think. There's nothing to really influence kids, so I think that by getting involved very young, 10, 11, 12 or whatever, you can make your own mind up and realise how much fun it is. And when something's fun, you actually like doing it at school and you learn better. You Five drivers, you, the first two have an hour each, then there's a battery change and a drive change, and the last three have 45 minutes, 45 minutes and half an hour. Okay, Kylie, so do you want to talk us through what's happening in this pit change? Basically, this is our first pit stop, and um, they're going to change the batteries, change the drivers, and they have to add, add more water for the cooling system, and then we should be away again. School and they've just won the second race 
Formula 24 with their car Zebedee. It's nice to have our work finally paid off. We've been doing this for yeah. six years. <laughs> We worked so hard for it and we finally got re rewards for it. So how did you guys build this car? Um, all this car was built all in the tech technology suite in school, all by the team members. Um, all the way from welding the, bo the chassis ourselves to making the bodywork ourselves, all completely done by the team. And will you guys be back next year? Definitely. Definitely. Excellent. <laughs>